hi beautiful tarot loves it's ethany and i am finally getting around to coming i'm coming back down to earth a little bit after reader's studio if uh, from those of you who have been to a tarot conference before i don't know if it's just me but it takes me a little bit of time to kind of come back down to earth partially because i don't want to <laughs> but I'm, i've come back down to earth and i'm ready to go and do a recap of reader's studio 2019 and share I've got so much to share so this is going to be a very long video and there's going to be a haul section at the end I have got a and I'm not even kidding you my table is full of stuff some of it was given to me um, some of it I purchased I've got links in uh, the description below for where you can find everything um, and over on my blog at ethany.com so this is going to be a long one um, if you want to just watch the first section which is going to be me talking a little bit about the actual experience reader studio then you can kind of jet off um, but if you like haul videos um, stick around because there's some goodies I got some good stuff uh, but for those of you who are doing a depth here I'm sorry <laughs> I am certainly not doing a depth here. So first of all, I wanted to, um, I mentioned this on Facebook, but I feel like it's um, really important. I'm just gonna turn that down so it doesn't interrupt. Um, I feel like it's really important to say again on video, um, a huge thank you to Ruth Ann and Wald Amberstone from the Tarot School for everything this year. So as many of you know, I was one of the main stage presenters for Reader Studio 2019. Um, there are three master classes for Reader Studio, and I was one of three. I got to be up there with uh, George Kearney and Sasha Graham, and that was a huge honor. And then we had Divination Day this year, which was um, a new addition, and we had Carrie Paris, Runner George, and Heather Lee Navarro. And that was the first time. I've actually seen Heather Lee and I was like blown away. Um, I was blown away by everybody. I had such an amazing time. So I'm gonna run through kind of a little, a little bit of a recap. Now this was my experience. Um, there have, were hundreds of people at this event and I, my mind boggles to think how complicated it is to get everything done. Last year I went as a as someone who went and enjoyed this incredible event and I got to really just kind of take it all in and get to see all my friends like Teresa Reed and um, Melissa Sanoa and Benabel Wen and who like everybody <laughs> um, who were like my 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 friends. Um, Liz Worth and there's, there's quite a few other people that I got to meet uh, that I can't remember off the top of my head but I got to participate. This year was a very different experience because I was a part of the um, part of it in a way like a very small way everyone else did a lot more work than I did um, but just to see the huge amount of work that everyone puts into it and the team there thank you to everybody I can't remember all of your names but like the whole team from the reader studio did an amazing job um, I believe it was like uh, I can't remember I should have had all your names it's probably in here somewhere and in, in my I'm sure it is but thank you you all knew oh here we go all these people those people amazing so it was pretty incredible so I arrived oh, so what I wanted to say on that was this is my experience I didn't go to everything I didn't go to all the uh, evening workshops I slept every lunchtime except for the last day um, and I sh should have just gone up and went to bed because I didn't even get to eat anything um, I went to sleep early ish um, and as many of you know I had pneumonia after um, Northwest Tarot Symposium and I did not want to, to get sick again. So I slept, um, I went to bed early, I rested my body, I did a lot of grounding and cleansing throughout the day. So that's why a lot of you didn't see me at everything. I bounced from the ball early, I didn't go out, which I would have loved to have gone out. Um, Angela, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I would have loved to have gone out, but I was just so worried about getting sick again because I've got Tarot Summer School coming up and I was presenting and I needed to be take care of myself. So that was a pretty strict boundary I had in place. So for everyone who had those workshops during the, the breakfast workshops, the round tables, which I did do uh, Ben Javets from Tarot on Earth, so great, uh, but I'll get to that. Um, it's not because I didn't want to, I was just taking care of myself, right? Like that's that was really important for me. So I arrived on 
Wednesday late and then we we did a uh, sound check and a tech check and then I'm pretty sure I just went to sleep <laughs> I can't remember it wasn't very much and then Thursday was divination day and Thursday was just so great I believe the first person up was Rana forgive me for my memory like I could probably just go through all this go through this uh this amazing if okay we're gonna do this yes i'm gonna have a look at this um if you ever get to go to reader studio or northwest terror symposium the reader studio uh if you're on the east coast like I, i'm like counting down the days i can't even can't even so teresa opened my my good friend teresa reed opened and then we had um our first section with rana george and she was teaching us um psychic Lenoma. um i really hope we get a chance to get a copy of her presentation because um rana is like she that language she speaks it just so fluently so quick um that we were all trying to like do the prac and then like i was like i can't write down like what's going on so um but it was great she is just um a goddess like if you've ever met her she's just a goddess and this is like the fourth or fifth time we've like hung out and she and like got to actually meet and give hugs and and all that amazing stuff so i felt very um, blessed to see her again on stage i've seen her at uh, northwest terrorism Symposium, and that was really fun um i love the lenoma i've created my own um it's a really cool um quick psychic divinatory practice that is just going to like tell it to you straight and i used her deck which i purchased from her um at readers uh at northwest terror symposium then we had lunch and then we had um heather lee navarre come in and work with crystal walls and it was so great come and have a look at my crystal ball it was so awesome i have a very large crystal ball from one of the vendors who were there she gave it to me not this year but last year and actually sits on my main altar so i have a crystal ball i was using my uh a calcite ball a honey calcite ball which i absolutely love it's got so many rainbows in it uh for divination and this was so great we all got a ball to work with and this was a very hands-on uh workshop we got to learn a lot about the history of crystal ball and divination and i didn't know a ton of like a lot of this at all I'm, I'm not an expert on um crystal balls and it was sensational and i really really want to get to the boston tea room that's where heather that's heather lee's business such a pro so much fun i absolutely loved it it was great um and then we had um carrie paris uh the one and only Carrie Paris doing the art of casting miracles with the Milagro Oracle. Da -da -da -da. I've got my hand out from this one, my hand out. I don't know where everything else went, but we all got to play with this Milagro Oracle. And for those of you who don't know, um, Carrie, she was charm casting. And so we all, the tables got the different, um, charm casting sets and talking about like Milagro and fashion. And it was just, you know me in fashion um but it was really really great and really fun to play with it because it, we carry built in tarot and built in a practice of using these charms as a part magic part divination and also with other uh, tarot now i hope i'm hoping that carrie actually packages this together and i'm pretty sure she does um she's going to package this together because carrie has got the most amazing amazing sets like she's got a, a milagro um cloth i don't know why i didn't get the, that that set from her why didn't i get that set from you carrie i bought her other stuff um and then she showed us i can't wait for this folks which goes live on may 9th so at the end of this week her kickstarter deck you all know i'm going to be into this like on, I, I back a lot of decks on Kickstarter. So it has spirit cards, a major arcana, court cards, and minor arcana. So it's a relative tarot deck. Carrie's new project. This woman is always, she, always working on something brilliant and her presentation was excellent. I mean, first, I mean, what, these people are just so giving with their information and their talent and their space. And um, yeah, it was, it was awesome. I loved Divination Day. I've been to uh, the psychology, the tarot and psychology. Um, I know that they were doing Divination Day next year as well. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a witch. 
if you hadn't noticed, I'm a witch. I love that shit. I love anything that's like mystical, magical, divinatory. And I love the psychology part, like Cooch Daniels and Victor Daniels. I've got all their books. Um, Ellen Greenberg, I think, I think is her name. I've got a lot of her stuff too. And I loved, but it was very, it was very different. It was very cool to have, like last year we had psychology and this year we had divination. It's like, recognizing and honoring the fact that we all use tarot in different ways and we can use tarot in different ways and explore and new, learn new things, which is one of the reasons why we all come to these things. The other reason is because it's like just super fucking fun. Um, but to learn new things, um, it was amazing. So that was the add on day. So that was the Thursday and then Thursday, I can't, Oh, Thursday night was RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> priorities I have mine um so a few people uh thanks to Ben um Tom Benjamin uh who had his iPad up in my room <laughs> a few of us watched it with Devin and oh my gosh your name is skipping my Louise Liz Liz West Liz I think it was you I'm so sorry like I can see your beautiful face and you gave me that package full of the sprays and everything last year. Liz Westworth I'm pretty sure um came up to my room and we watched RuPaul's Drag Race because I am not going to miss that <laughs> two things RuPaul's Drag Race and Game of Thrones it was not I was not missing it um and then we went to bed because it was was pretty late so again I was taking care of myself uh quite a lot then Reader's Studio officially opened on Friday and there's always a beautiful welcome, a beautiful opening ritual to welcome in the elements of the tarot and holding space. And um, then we had the interview. So myself, Sasha and George were interviewed by people that we got to choose. Um, and that was amazing. And it's just like a quick interview to let everyone know what we're doing on the main stage because it's always a squirrely little secret. You're not allowed to say anything. Like to the point where George and Sasha and I we're on Facebook Messenger together and we were just saying like, we, we know we can't tell you exactly what we're doing because that's we're honoring the agreement that we get and the, the word that we gave to um, Ruth Ann and Walt. And these are the other presenters and we're like, OK, so we know we can't say what it is, but can we at least get a keyword to get the theme right? So <laughs> we we're just sending keywords to each other, um, just one keyword. So that, that is a part of the mystery and the magic of Reader Studio is you actually don't know until you're sitting in that room what people have been working on. Little do they know that like the last two months, like I've been like ah, trying to get it, not uh, trying to get it down done. The idea like it just was so much fun to work with, but I literally had twenty two thousand words just like book come out of nowhere and this massive new deck come out of nowhere. Uh, well, not out of nowhere, but working with this idea because when I got invited to Reader Studio to speak. That idea hit me while I was sitting in the room last year. So, um, but we would all been working and it was finally we were able to share. So, um, I don't even have the notes. So George did the Peter Pan reading, which was a three card reading to, I've got like a big file of notes, um, to look at your life purpose. And that was really fun. And Peter Pan kept on showing up every damn where on the weekend. It was so freaking cool. Um, so I'm going to actually address that now because it was kind of cool. So Peter Pan, for those of you who, um, who have my book, your tarot court, Peter Pan is my archetype for the Page of Wands. And I was really lucky to have my books show up on time, like early, as a matter of fact, to make it to New York so I could give people copies and so that the Tarot School could sell the copies and I could give people, like, sign them and, like, just be really happy about it. But um, there we go. Hang on. Wait. Archetype, Peter Pan. So that was the first place for me that the Peter Pan showed up. Then Peter Pan showed up with George's, um, I'm trying to make room, George's reading, which was called the Peter Pan reading. And then Joe, the beautiful Joe, and I'm, I'm rushing ahead, did this incredible dance on um, one of the tarot major arcana and Peter Pan showed up again. And it was just like all weekend, these, this energy was coming up. And for me, uh, my whole weekend from the second that we started from divination day 
all the way to getting home and then reflecting and having a chat to my my sister and my family and my friends was one big reading. It was one big revelation. It was one big channel from spirit. Everything connected through. And I know I'm not alone in that. And it is that is like one of the big, amazing things that I love about this event. It gives me space and time. And this year I was able to give back and be on stage and, and that like I live for that. If you had noticed, um, I live for that stuff. But the other part is even if I'm just participating, it lets me go. I am going to give myself this time and space to explore the tarot, to be a student when I'm often the teacher, to be with my friends and colleagues, to have a great time. To I, I think I gave like a million hugs away. I could have given more like I just love this community. But allowing the space for it's like I get to do all of these readings and experience all these modalities and experience all of these different archetypes is such a like a gift. So I really enjoyed that. So that Peter Pan came up a lot, which was really, really cool. Um, I'm sure Peter Pan is going to be another one of the <laughs> Disney live ones they're going to do at some point um, again, because, you know, why not milk that till it's dead? So we did a um, uh, there's a welcome ritual. Uh, opening session and then we do foundation reading so another part of I'm not going to give away too many of Ruth and Wall's secrets but there are readings that you do throughout the weekend and that was one of them and I got to hang out with my my friend and then we had um, lunch and then it was my turn to take the stage and I was um, I just had such a great time I, my big thing was if, if anyone takes anything from this I'm going to be so happy, but I was so jazzed with the idea of what came through and what was working with me. And I just want to have fun. Um, so my presentation was on my tarot muses. So I've had 13 tarot muses come through me to want to be known to the world. And this is going to be the new deck that comes out this year um, and how you work with the tarot and hold space. That is a whole nother video. I'm not going to go into it in a huge way. I've done 13 cards so far in like the actual, I got to show them all. I was really, really happy to be able to show them all. Um, and it was great fun. There was like meditation and we did readings and it was just fun. So I hope it, if anyone was there that you had as much fun as I did, because sh surely I was having like the time of my life. Um, and then there was some, uh, show 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 cases, showcases some uh, there was some yoga there was some readings happening but like I said I was like nope I'm gonna take care of my energy I'm gonna have something to eat I had a lovely dinner with oh my gosh who was there Angelo Teresa Mitchell um, your uh, your gay there was a whole bunch of um oh crap i can't remember all your names so i can like see your faces thank you so much for having dinner um arwen benabelle there was a bunch of us we all had dinner at the hotel and then i just was like peace i'm gonna go to bed and then we had two master classes on saturday so saturday um al sorry it was al al had um was doing a round table which i missed because i had breakfast i want to say with kitty Zara and Francesca Yara. I'm pretty sure we had breakfast on. We did because they were running late with the check and then George started early and I freaked out. So I had, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, Francesca Yara, uh, her, her website and everything she does is mostly in Spanish. Go check it out. She's amazing. We've got some projects in the work and, um, kitten chops, uh, hay fever, kitten chops, um, Zara, who's got the Playful Heart Tarot coming out soon on Kickstarter. We had we had breakfast together because we're we're like friends and now we're like closer friends. I got to meet um, Kitten Chops at Newt's this year and, and Francesca and I have been like internet friends for years. But George started early and I was freaking out because I was like looking at the clock and I'm like, oh my God, we're going to be there. I can't like George and I are friends and I love, love him and his work. And it's the first time I've been seeing him on stage. But we didn't miss, thankfully we didn't miss much. So George is... He's, he hasn't had the most incredible life and he's so incredibly talented. So we had George's masterclass. And as I mentioned, it was a, the Peter Pan reading and looking at your, your purpose in life. Um, and it was just sensational and he's so funny and so charming and so amazing. And then there was lunch. And again, I did miss um, the showcases and everything. I went up to my room and I was putting what I was doing. And this is something that you, if you got a lot of cons, if you go, even if it's like Comic-Con, which I would love to go to one day, um, 
if you go to any cons or you go to anything like this, what I was doing is I was going back up to my room. I was taking off all my clothes and I was lying on my bed and I put uh, like black tourmaline. Um, I've got lots of crystals to show you. Lots of grounding stones, carnelian, jasper. Um, and then I was, I was, my friend Michelle from EO Chakra Products made me this amazing uh, smudge off oil. Because as you know, I use this all the time. This was my travel, my travel kit. So I was just like, this is something that I learned from um, doing my Aura Soma training. So rubbing it on here and then just like pulling it over your body. So I was doing that and just napping. And that for me really brought my energy back down, allowed me to kind of get some quiet, even though I'm ex stupidly extroverted and come back down. And it was a really good idea at night. And I napped like that, like every single time, just put the alarm on. And then it was Sasha Graham and we were going into some really juicy shadow work. I cannot, I'm so sorry, babe. I can't remember the name of your workshop, um, but it was like di diving into the depths of the, the dark wood and having these like, um, these discussions that we have with ourselves, our dark thought diaries or the um, dialogue of that and how we can navigate out of that and looking at our pain in a different way. And can I just say the new deck that Sasha is working on, we got to see little snippets of it in her presentation and damn, I all but want to like throw money. <laughs> it looks so good. Um, the Tarot of the Darkwoods or Darkwoods Tarot. I'm there for it. I'm living for it. I want it. want it now. Um, Sasha was amazing. It got us thinking of lots of different things that we say to ourselves and how we can kind of work through that and pass that. And she's just an incredible, incredible person on stage as well. And super lovely as well. Yeah, you know, she's like the trifecta. <laughs> and then we had our break and then we had dinner. So on the Saturday night, we have a big banquet. And... There was entertainment by uh, Jen, Joe. I can't remember if that was your name, who did the singing. Uh, was it Joe? Someone tell me. I'm so sorry if I got your name wrong. Um, and But definitely Joe, uh, who did the dancing. And oh my gosh, I've got loads of photos I want to show on Facebook as well that I have not put up yet. So we had in incredible... Um, oh, and just the... Um, Michael? from the oil but four tarot your costume was everything i can't believe i missed getting a photo with you with that beautiful headpiece on um if you're on facebook go join the reader studio facebook group because you can a see all the photos but b you'll get notified when this uh when it's opened back up this next year because it's sold out in three weeks this time around i think it's going to sell out like within a week um it's going to be crazy so it was amazing. Again, there were readings going on. There were workshops. I bounced early because I was like, okay, my energy is really depleted. I got to spend time with Mitchell. I got to spend time with V, um, Angelo. I got to spend time with, oh my gosh, um, lots of people, <laughs> lots and lots of people. Um, and then went to bed Sunday. Sunday is like a, a beautiful wrap up day. There was a breakfast buffet provided, but I, I went and had breakfast with Sasha and George. We were always meaning to like catch up and a bunch of other people came too. And that was amazing. Um, and then we had our foundation readings revisited and then we had incubators. And I had, I went to Tom Benjamin's and this, he did one on third party readings and it was such a great conversation. I've got all of these notes. Um, but again, it's all their like work and their, their properties. So I don't want to be giving away everything because um, they may do a workshop on it later. But phenomenal. A great conversation. Uh, really, really great roundtable. So thank you, Mr. Tom Benjamin, for such a wonderful roundtable. And then we had a lunch break and then there was a... Um, so Tori Hartman did her showcase of her Chakra Wisdom Tarot. And then we had um, Teresa Reed doing her Fun with the Tarot coloring book and I actually did that one I don't know why I put all those notes away I actually went and did um Teresa's workshop where she it's not just coloring because it's like coloring with other stuff it was very unexpected and you're asked to be completely silent for 45 minutes silent for 45 minutes um it was really really cool I mean she's really cool and then we had there's lots of prizes that are given away and then close out. I stayed, um, 
I stayed an extra night. I had to wait until Game of Thrones aired back in Pacific Western time to watch it on my app because it wouldn't let me. Um, so that was annoying. So I was up until really, really late. I just stayed up because I had to be at the airport at four o'clock in the morning. So I was like, bugger, I'm just going to stay up. So that was a wrap up of, I know I was talking really quickly, but there was a lot to get through. And it was just, it was just great. I can't wait for next year. And thank you to everyone who came and said hello. Thank you to everyone who gave me a hug. And thank you to everyone who supported um, my book and who continues to support my book. And thank you to the team. At, I know it sounds like an Academy Award winning, like, like I needed my like. And I want to thank the far, Hollywood Farm Press. Um, <laughs> so now, but honestly, it was um, to hold space like that and to have that space is just the balls are so great. So now I'm going to show you all the goodies I got and boy, oh boy, do I have goodies. So bear with me here. So from, oh crap. All right, I'm going to do this first because it's the first thing I've got. So this is a shop called Raven, Raven in a World Tree on Etsy. Now these are not all mine, but I saw this, I saw this from yonder across the room. So with the tarot, uh, with the Reader's Studio, the vending is around the ballroom. So we're all in a ballroom and the vending is around and then also downstairs. And the swap table this year was, oh my God. I put, um, I think about 15 decks and I walked away with a number of them. I haven't got them in this video because there's too many things to show. Uh, but I saw these across from the across the room and you know me and bees. And I had to get every single one of them. <laughs> so I got the three card. This is to put and to hold cards. So I got the three card the two card and the one card. And I'm going to put the links to where you can, oh, I mean, can you even? So good for magic ritual, if you're calling it. And look, it's big enough to have uh, Oracle cards in there as well. Um, if you're doing anything like that, so great for your altar, so great for Instagram, so great for your daily readings, even fun. Like if you wanted to get your clients to put it in there and have like a bit of a a deeper therapy or a session where you're really looking at like the colors and things like that. It'd be so great. So then I bought, my friends already know that I bought this for them, but two more designs. Uh, so Michelle from EO Chakra Products is uh, getting that one from me. And then um, Kira from Divine Nocturne, who does all these beautiful tarot pouches and who's another friend of mine is getting that one. So it was like, what do you get the tarot friends who have everything? <laughs> those. <laughs> so that was one thing I went and, and got lots and lots of those. Now what next? So I kind of need to like, oh crap, the stickers. Okay, so let's do Carrie Paris's stuff. So I didn't get the Milagro charms, which I don't know why, but I did get the revolutionary the Le Lenormand Revolution. So she has a mini one. How cute is that? So it'd be so great. Like Grand Tableau. So the Lenormand is meant to be done a lot of the time in Grand Tableau. And that means putting out all 36 cards. So I love that there's like a little tiny little mini one in the poker size. So I've got both of those and I'll be showing those in another video and the reading cloth. Now just something on my, um, my unboxing videos. I have close to 60 decks on my table. I had two conferences back to back. I've been given a lot for the spring summer launch of a lot of people's um, decks and books. So I've got a lot. So please bear with me while I'm trying to get through everything. Uh, it's, it is crazy busy here at the moment, not uh, in that, in that regard. So then I got this, the, this is, um, Monica Bodeski's House of Shadows, second edition Lenormand Oracle deck. It's so cute. Now I had her sign it, so I wanted to open it. Um, so cute. Little bats. So I'm going to do a walk through it. That when I have some time. Um, what else have we got? Oh, the other thing I got from Raven in a World Tree are these two little goodies. The, the workbook of tarot and the workbook of the moon. So the workbook of tarot, every time, the idea behind this is every time, say for example, you pick the five of swords, you can go here and actually put the date and the notes on that. So you're building like your own um, collection of what it means to you and how it's actually impacted and played out in your life and how it's reflected. And there's areas for notes and there's also information about each card on there, which is really, really cool. Um, so I got that from them 
And I also got the workbook of the moon, which is, so full moon to will, month name, waxing moon to dare, the month and the name. So this is great because you can put in dark moon, new moon, oh crap, there's a to know. So these are really waning moon, silence. So this is for you to pick any, you can put the dates in, you can kind of pick up where you left off and it's got a bunch of information as well. So that's what I also got from Raven in the World Tree. So thank you so much for that. And I got a little Wiccan toolkit, which is a little deck. And I'm gonna to have to go through all this stuff when I have time of ritual sigils and symbols that you can use if you are traveling and uh yeah don't have uh don't have everything with you they also have little kits they had astrology charm casting it's so much stuff but i was like oh my gosh i filled i thought when i took everything to read a studio i thought great i have a box full of notes i have a box full of decks that i'm going to get rid of like a whole suitcase full of stuff to get rid of i'm not going to come back with that much stuff yeah no i, I really did <laughs> every year worth it don't regret a thing so next from the um, amazing Joanna, um, I always want to say her name wrong, Powell Colbert, Colbert Powell. I think it's because one of my friend's surname in high school was Powell and I kind of get a little bit like crossfire. So I bought this that's going, it's probably going to go over here. I'm going to have to peg that up, I think. So this is her from her guy in tarot. This is the world and this beautiful charm and Joanna actually lives on the Pacific East Coast so um, that's going to go it's gone straight to the pool room for those of you who know what that reference is and then I got it I freaking got it the herb craft is tarot I've only opened it so that Joanna could sign um, the book I am going to be doing an unboxing of this deck um, I her artwork is exquisite so I'm really really happy and we got to say hello to each other and kind of hang out a little bit I'm running out of room. Um, then I got, so Lisa, PhD, Dr. Lisa, has a book that came out. Um, I was like, oh, yay, uh, a book that I have this ordered on Amazon with mine. This is her new book, Mindful Tarot. So I picked, got this from Lisa at, um, at Reader's Studio. And she's, I'm pretty sure she signed it. Yay! I love <laughs> collecting signatures. So, oh, I can't wait. So she actually does go through each one. I haven't really had a look. Becoming whole, the lovers, so true. So looking forward to diving into this this book. It was on my, um, as I said, it's already on my pre-ordered on uh, Amazon, and I'm looking forward to having more chats with her. It was the first time I ever got to meet Lisa, so I got mindful tarot. I also got Queering the Tarot by Beth Maiden from Little Red Tarot. Many of you know Beth very well. Um, she uses the Urban Tarot in this book. Um, really, really, or is it Cassandra Snow? Why is it? Forward by Beth Maiden, so, so sorry. Cassandra Snow, I'm so sorry, Cassandra. Um, this is Cassandra's first book. I actually purchased this from the Tarot School uh, table i'm really looking forward to to reading this gorgeous edition and very important work so yay so that's another my book my book list is uh growing ever so big sasha graham gifted me the haunted house tarot of the haunted house um i will be unboxing this one so thank you so much for this lovely gift Sasha so for those of you who don't know um Sasha's she's this beautiful woman she's like I love all the, the the horror and the haunted house and she did she was an actress and was in all these horror movies and it's like so freaking cool you know but we are multi we can have we can have more than one thing you know um so I got that then we do get gifts from the major public from many publishers at this event so from us game systems we got the gill tarot the second edition like the second printing i have the first printing and i also have a copy of this already so i bought it when it came back out again because i like the gill tarot wonder woman and i wanted to have it so this is going to i'm going to be giving this away 
there's many things many things in my giveaway pile um, I like to do giveaways and competitions so this will be going in there so thank you to US game systems someone is going to be luckily taking this home and whenever I get around to doing that one I'm running one at the moment um, a tarot giveaway then from Llewellyn we got uh, you get a random deck I got the mystical cats one but someone was very lovely enough to change it for the magical dogs I'm a dog person <laughs> I like cats but I'm much more a dog person now I Mickey Molina's artwork is so beautiful I can't wait to look at all the puppies I also have a feeling my son is so into dogs that he will really gravitate towards this deck so I got that from Llewellyn so thank you so much to Llewellyn for the freebies you do get a lot of swag we also got this bag from Tori for the the uh, Chakra Wisdom Tarot which was lovely oh. you still with me there's more okay Doo -doo -doo. I got the Rosetta Tarot the Papyrus edition I haven't got this one I do have the the Kickstarter um, edition so so excited so I got given this um, where did your card go I'm gonna make sure I hold it up so tabula mundi okay so M M Meline. I can't remember what your um I can't remember so I've got this beautiful deck to go through I backed the um, Tabula Mundi on Kickstarter. It's actually right over here. Um, so I don't have the Papyrus edition. So it was really, again, another one to go through. I know if you're still with me, congratulations. I know I've got a lot to share and show. What else did I get? Oh, Soultopia. So the lovely, 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 lovely Michelle Welsh from Soultopia. I need to get there and come and hang with you and have fun because um, I know we'll have a great time. We've now become good friends from uh, working together and then also we've, we've spent a lot of time together. This beautiful intuitive chakra kit. Now I'm going to actually do a, I don't want to give away too much because I'm actually going to go through this and discover this with people. So I did get this from Michelle. I also got these two beautiful goddess bracelets. One of them was Aphrodite and the other one if you can tell me what so that was Aphrodite I can go on um, and this one with the oh, I can't remember what that was but then Michelle did a reading for me and made me one as well how lucky am I so she does readings with this chakra kit and that's the reason why I want to go through it and show you what's actually in it so I got these beautiful bracelets from her and a bunch of crystals. So I've got some beautiful uh, labradorite from Michelle. What else did I get from Michelle? I think that was, was it? Oh yes, wait, I got some protections missed from the made by her husband, Roger, who's lovely. I finally got to meet and some Florida water. So good to have any, in any witch's cupboard, you need these things, I believe. Whoops, knocking over all the crystals. Then I got Gemini from the lovely, I can't grab it, um, Susan, T. Susan Chang, who did tarot correspondence. I got the Gemini spray. Oh, it smells so good um, being a Gemini. So I got that from the la lovely lady. I got these earrings from Carly Child. Now I have... Uh, uh, my long pendant, my long stone. So what I'm going to do, because I'm allergic to anything that's not stealing silver, so I'm going to change, being a jewellery maker, it helps. I'm going to change these over and put them on so I can wear them at the same time. So that was from the lovely Carly Child. Thank you. Well, I purchased those. And then I also got this from Soultopia. Isn't it cute? This little geode here. I'm sorry if I'm going too quickly. I just realized that not everyone wants to sit around for an hour and a half watching what all the stuff that I got. Now, this is a treasure. I got this from Terrista. One of the things that the lovely Heather Lee taught us was that there were women um, who were buried with these um, crystal balls around their neck 
because they wore them as fashion so that if they were pulled, like if they were got in trouble with the, they got in trouble with the fuzz, um, they could just either close it up or say it's a fashion accessory. And a lot of these women were buried with them. And Tarista, the lovely Becky Wong, only had a number of these and I went down and I got one immediately. Natural rainbow. I mean, like you can see the rainbow on this camera. It is unreal. Didn't take it off all weekend. It was, I only have it off because, um, I wanted to show you. I'm going to rechain that too, I think. I might get a choker or something, but oh, so glad I got that. So beautiful. What else? Now, there's a lot from one vendor, so I want to make sure I've kind of covered off. I think that was everything. Now, the last big lot of stuff that I bought was from Free Spirit Crystals, and I was. The prices they had on things were so reasonable. I swear, Diana, like you guys, like took all my money. And I was really happy about it. So I got this massive channeler. Look at this bad boy. Damn. I mean, there is like this incredible, like there's this, oh, this, I don't even really know what that's called, but there is something in there that is really fucking cool. Uh, we're going to have a lot of, we're going to have a lot of fun. Did you ever like pick up a crystal and just go, yeah, you and I are going to have a lot of fun working together? Was one of the first things I bought was this stone. Oh crap. There's my thing. Um, then I bought, oh, I got these from Carly's Stone. Carly's Child, I also got a few little stones. I got um, these Aurora, Aqua Aurora, um, and this Mirror Stone. And then the rest of it was pretty much from, um, the rest of it was pretty much from Free Spirit Crystals. We got Free Crystals. I got like Peach Moonstone. I got Fire Opals. I got the palm stones. I got quite a few of these because they were like really, they were really like, you can't really see, they're really, I really think they're really pretty. Some aqua azura, citrine, hematite, okay. <laughs> um, just so much, so much, so much. Dravite, um, lots of stones. Oh my gosh, look, I haven't even opened that. I've got bags of blue lace agate. I mean, I use a lot of this stuff for, that's another one of the ones I got from Michelle. Um, I use a lot of this stuff for work and for Instagram and for healings and for readings. Look at this. Lapis lazuli. So stunning. So that was, that's, I think that's everything. I, that, I think that's everything. I'm so sorry if I missed something that I purchased from you or got from you. I came home and there was literally a table full of stuff. Um, but that was my swag and that doesn't include what I got from the swap table. <laughs> I got so many things. From this one. I got a crystal tarot deck that had every card in it and I nearly fell off my chair. I was so happy. Um, but that is my recap of the reader studio and my amazing swag. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. I know it's probably not going to be everyone's thing to kind of watch all the goodies that I got. Um, but like this for me is, is my holiday. This is what I get to do as a vacation for myself. So I really enjoyed it. And as always, well, first of all, everything is in the description below in regards to where you can find all the links or go over to ethony.com in my blog and check those out too. Go support all these wonderful people. Um, thank you again to everyone who made a great weekend. And thank you so much to you for, as always, watching. <laughs>